loves welcome back to my channel welcome if this is your first time here my name is day and if you like these types of videos go ahead and subscribe and join the lovely family and for those of you who have been here thank you guys so much for coming back to see me once again so we are back with the content guys summer is approaching you guys know that summer is prom time for me and my content so get ready to see more okay but in today's video i'm doing a requested tutorial and this is the bantu knots tutorial i have done a tutorial like this before when my locks were shorter so i am gonna link that for you guys for those who have shorter locks um but this is on obviously the length that i have now which is a little over two years actually a lot over two years because i'll be three years in the summer um but yeah i'm gonna show you guys the process of how i did it and then after that we'll discuss you know the length of time that I keep it in and things like that. So go ahead and keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is just put my hair up into a ponytail to section it off and get it out the way. I didn't have any more Jamaican black castor oil, but that's what I will normally use. But in this video, I just used hemp seed. I'm just doing a very light retwist on my hair, mainly because um, I just retwisted it not too long ago. So I'm kind of, you know, breaking the rules right now. But uh, typically, I will probably take a little bit more time retwisting. And you're just going to do a two strand twist, like a very simple two strand twist on your hair and then you're going to take a third lock and just simply wrap it around the two strand twist now i don't know how to do three strand twists i wouldn't consider this to be that um but all i know is for every bantu knot i use three locks i just start with a two strand twist take another one wrap it around and then take a rubber band to secure the end and then i'm gonna pinwheel it so i don't want to really make this into a ball but i want to just wrap the locks around themselves to kind of make a pinwheel style you want them to lay flat um, so this is kind of what it looked like when it was halfway done I'm just gonna repeat that same over and over again and I like showing you guys the before and after because as you can see my hair was just looking very like raw to begin with but this didn't take that long this took maybe like 45 minutes and it just gives a completely different look optional completely optional as i always say but i did use edge control at the front of my hair just to give a really sleek look um it gets a little bit tricky at the front trying to figure out you know which way you want your hair to lay but i always use bobby pins to kind of secure it and i decided to um part my hair <laughs> my son made an appearance You guys know how it is mommy life never stops but um yeah i'm working towards the front and what i did was i just left out a few locks at the very front just to add a little bit of a bang and you'll see what i'm talking about in a minute um but yeah i finished up the last couple bantus and then i left out these three locks i just pulled them to the side and then i wrapped them around one of the bantu knots and just secured it with a bobby pin it's not going to stay by itself obviously you have to wrap it around and secure it um the best way that you can and i just try to hide the bobby pins the best that i can and this is what it came out to be okay so as you guys can see that is how i do the bantu knot style i leave a little bang out in the front just to give it like a more like styled look i feel um this is what the side looks like this is i did this this morning so this is like after a full day of drying and stuff like that the side this is the back hopefully you can see the crown and stuff and this is what it looks like on the other side yeah so typically i'm the type of person that i take out a style after a couple days just because that's just how I am. I don't like keeping styles in for too long. This could stay in for as long as you want it to. The last time I did this, uh, Mother's Day weekend, I did it again just for you guys. But the first time I did it was Mother's Day weekend and I kept it in for about a week. When I took the um, Bantu knots out, 
it didn't look like curly like you would think it would. It looked kind of straight and that is because I put three strands per bantu knot. Now, if you do two strands for, per bantu knot, of course the bantus will look a little bit smaller, but I think that that way it'll look a little bit like wavier, wavier or like crinkly because it's two strand twists. But for some reason, it just didn't look that nice when I took them out the first time. And when I take these out in a few days, I'll show you guys and I'll film another video. But if you think you're gonna do like a two style in one, it, it might work out but also it might not so don't count on it like don't like um put the bantu knots in if it's your first time doing it don't put the bantu knots in and you have somewhere to go this weekend and you take your hair out before the event because it might not look as good as you think um yeah that, i'm just saying that because that's what happened to me but overall i love the style it's not that much tension at all i did have to use a few bobby pins as you saw um but overall i like it i feel like it's classy like it goes well with like you know dressed up looks and yeah that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think i've been doing this a lot i think i will do it a lot in the summer it's a great way to get your hair off of your neck without putting it in a ponytail but thank you guys so much for joining me for another video and i will see you guys in my next one bye